Hey guys, you may recall from my last video where I had the bagger installed on this mower. It was great for cutting short, dry grass, but when I was cutting grass over an inch long, I spent more time cleaning out the chute than I did actually mowing. So I checked in with the manufacturer. They said that the bagger system is not normally sold with the 60 inch for residential use. The bagger is normally used for lawns that are cut very frequently like golf courses. So I swapped out the bagger for the mulcher and I'm very excited to get it tested out here today. So before we get started, let's check out what my expectations are. Quite simple, I want to be able to mow at full speed and not have the deck struggling and being full of mulch and I don't want any clippings left behind. I understand though that if the grass is deep, it's gonna take longer to mulch that grass. So maybe half speed going through the deeper grass and again, I don't want any clippings left behind. So next, let's have a quick look at a time lapse of getting the kit installed. Each blade has its own area, its own divider, and a little gap under each of these small sections in the divider. The mulch blade has a slightly different shape than a regular cutting blade, so in my test we'll have to keep that in mind to see if it impacts the airflow. And since each of the three blades is contained, Will the blades have enough suction to lift the grass for a nice clean and even cut? I'll test out various grass and deck heights. Now right after the kit was installed, I noticed that even though the bolts are tight, the chute cover is a little loose and makes a clacking sound whenever, whenever I run over a bump. But not to worry though, as soon as a bit of mulch gets in around the cover and the deck, the noise goes away. All right, let's get rolling with our first mowing test. We're gonna cut off about one to three inches of grass using three deck heights. Obviously now the higher the deck, the more surrounding air is going to enter the deck. Also keep in mind that grass is thicker and has more moisture towards its base and that will take more energy to mulch. And our first test is going to be at what I call my normal cutting height, which will be cutting off about an inch worth, an inch and a half worth of grass. So I drop the deck down a little bit farther and that will cut off like an extra half inch or so. So yeah, this is going to be a low cut. I'm interested to see how the mower is going to perform at full speed through this. You can see some dust flying around from out of the deck here. Let's check out the results here in a minute. And for the last test here, I'm going to bring the deck up almost all the way to the top to the highest setting. And I'll fast forward through this. All right, so let's review each of the cuts. Here we have the normal, the short, and the high. Let's check out the high one first. You can see that we definitely missed a couple. I wonder if it's not getting good airflow because uh, it's such an open space. I see a few more right here. not sucking the grass up into the deck and now we'll have a look at the short cut you can see that there were a few blades of grass that were missed and there's also this line of uneven grass now maybe this is where the mower blades meet or it could be from the tires pushing the grass down and the deck didn't have enough airflow to pull it up here where the blades meet and here towards the middle of the deck it seems like the frame of the deck pushed the grass over and the blades couldn't pull it back up again for a nice cut. Also note that there are no clippings, so whatever the mower did cut, it mulched it 100%. And lastly, we'll look at the normal cut. It looks even across all three blades, and I only see one or two pieces of grass that were missed. I'm impressed, and that's why I use this normal setting when I cut the entire lawn. All right, let's take this test up a notch and have a lot of fun by lowering the deck to its lowest setting and we'll see how it performs. So yeah, quite a bit of dust here. The grass is not used to being cut this low, so I'll hit it from a couple of directions and uh, see how it turns out. So looking at the results here, you can see that the grass is not used to being cut this low. It's a little brown and you can see some of the old thatch there between the blades of the grass. There were some clippings left behind, but that's expected given how much grass the mulcher had to deal with. The middle blade did cut the grass perfectly, 
quite impressed with that. But on the sides here, you can see that the blades maybe pushed the grass down a little bit, or maybe it was the tires that knocked it over, and then the blades didn't have enough suction power to straighten it up and give it an even cut. Now, as you saw, I tried mowing in a couple of different directions to help prevent this. Overall though, I think it did a good job. I normally obviously don't cut this short, but it was nice to see how the machine handled it at this height. Up next, we're gonna move the testing to a different area of the lawn where the grass is a little more lush, has a bit more moisture in it, and we're gonna see how the mulcher performs at various grass lengths using a consistent deck height. Now I get the best airflow and cut at this level here, so we'll test that across multiple grass heights. And here we have a nice close view of that grass and you can really see how high it is. Normally I don't let the grass grow this long, but I think it better illustrates the mulcher's ability. Now starting off, we're gonna drive full speed through the grass. So as you can see, cutting the long grass at full speed doesn't allow the mulcher to properly cut the grass nice and clean. The deck is full of mulch and the blades just can't keep up. There are a lot of clippings left behind and I've also missed grass that wasn't accepted into the deck because it was full and the suction just wasn't there from the blades. Let's try cutting the same grass length again, but at quarter the speed. All right, so quite the difference at that slow speed. It's about a quarter of the speed. Yes, there's still some clippings being left behind in that deep grass, but it cut every bit of it. Now, if the deck does get overloaded in one of these fast growing areas, I will press on the lever to raise the deck and release some of the mulch. And I'll even hold the lever in place so I'm not cutting as much in that spot. Now let's move on to shorter, more manageable grass, and there's nothing but good news. So this is what the grass looks like when it's cut at regular height. It was about inch, inch and a half high. It's been about a week since the last cut in this area right here. It looks sharp, no grass left behind, and everything is cut perfectly evenly. Couldn't be happier. And now it's time for some maneuverability testing. Here we're gonna compare the mulcher's ability to perform in various degrees of turns, from side to side, in reverse, and stopping. Let's start things off with some curves. Now on each of the curves, when the mower is turning at about 45 degrees, there's a patch of grass between the inside blade and the middle blade where the grass is just not getting cut. It appears that at this angle, the dividers on the deck may be pressing down the grass and preventing that area from getting cut. Like a slight turn right here, you can see it didn't get all the grass, but as we're turning more aggressively, definitely missed. Now we're going to do back and forth and uh, under a tree. Now when I'm cutting around trees, some grass does escape from underneath the deck, but I pick it up again the next time I go in underneath those branches. And there's also a good time to mention that I can now mow tightly around obstacles on either side of the deck without the exit chute getting in the way. Okay, so next we're gonna try the forward and backwards test. So I'm gonna come forward right to the camera here, then stop and then go back and uh, see how it cuts forward and backwards. Okay, so you can see where I stopped right here. You can see the, the indentation of the blade where it stopped, there we go in there. But it seems like the mower deck dropped all of the grass it was in the process of mulching. Now everything that I did mulch is gone through here. And then as I was backing up, you can see we dropped a bunch more right here. Well, that's quite a bit. 
So I'm gonna try that one again in some thicker grass. My lawn looks like a race course. I like to consider this as a feature in case the deck gets too full. I can pick, I can quickly back up and clear the deck out. But it's something to keep in mind with how mulchers work. Okay, yeah, quite interesting. Coming forward, no problem. As soon as I stopped here and put it in reverse, everything that was in the mulcher dropped out. Now we're going to do a stop test. And when stopping the mower before putting it away, any grass that hasn't been completely mulched is going to drop out. So before putting the mower away, I need to make sure that I've raised the blades up while they're still running or go over some grass that was previously cut to help clear out the mulch. And next we're gonna test how the mulcher behaves when going from grass to a hard surface like a driveway or a sidewalk. All right, so here you go. So when I came onto the driveway, everything that was in the mulcher decided to leave because there was just so much extra air getting in there and um, nothing to keep the pressure of the grass inside. So it just released all the grass onto the driveway. Not a big deal, but just something to be aware of. Now I'm no windologist, so I'll let you draw your own conclusions about how the wind from the mulcher blades is blowing around the dried up grass with this much deck height from the pavement. And now our last couple of tests are gonna bring us into the fall of the year where we have some dried leaves. The, a little bit of mulch did escape from underneath the deck, but for the most part, these leaves were just destroyed. Looking back, there's, there's nothing there. It did a perfect job. Now we're gonna see if the mulcher can get rid of all of these dead sunflower plants. I'll set this in fast forward here, and again, it did an amazing job. Overall, I think the mulcher does an awesome job and is an awesome replacement for the bagger. If I cut under ideal conditions where the grass isn't too long and is dry, I can get some perfect stripes in and the grass and the lawn looks fantastic afterwards. So I'm very satisfied with the outcome of having the mulcher installed. I hope that you found this information helpful on my experience and how the mulcher works on my zero turn tractor. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see what other projects I'm up to on my acreage life. Thanks for watching.